Who is the most stylish footballer in the world? It is undoubtedly Cristiano Ronaldo. He is super rich, insanely popular, and lives a luxurious life. But have you wondered if his lifestyle is this dazzling, then how does he spend his millions in his homes? Well, the truth is, he can't spend his huge bank balance in one home, then how many houses does he have? You start guessing and we start our video to tell you about all the luxurious residences CR7 owns. Hello everyone and welcome to Football Players. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, Neymar, or anything about the best players in the world and history. Having said that, let's get into the video. Ronaldo ranked first in Forbes World's Highest Paid Soccer Players 2021 list with total earnings of $125 million last year. But the famous football player is no stranger to the wealthy list. After all, he is the first team sports player in the world to earn more than $1 billion in lifetime earnings before taxes. But how does one of football's most popular players make a living? He uses his social media power to ensure that he never has difficulty balancing the books. In addition to his large compensation of several millions of dollars he gets being one of the greatest footballers of all time. The Portuguese captain, who has a net worth of $500 million, enjoys a lavish lifestyle and invests a large percentage of his fortune in real estate. He enjoys purchasing houses in the most beautiful places on the globe. Ronaldo deserves a beautiful house or house for the wonderful accomplishments he has accomplished on the field. Well, he even has eight gorgeous mansions. Did you guess it correctly? Don't worry if you could not, as we are going to look at all the spectacular houses he has. The Trump Tower Condo Manchester United superstar spent $18.5 million for a 2,509-square-foot apartment in Trump Tower on Fifth Avenue. Alessandro Proto, an Italian real estate magnate and business associate of the owner and former U.S. President Donald Trump, owned the luxurious apartment that apparently inspired the setting of the novel Fifty Shades of Grey. The loft was structured in 1983, and its interiors have been designed by world-renowned architect Juan Pablo Molyneux. The three-bedroom, three-and-a-half bathroom apartment is located on 56th Street and 5th Avenue and is considered one of Manhattan's most prestigious and secure addresses. It has spectacular panoramic views of Central Park to the north, sweeping west to the Hudson River, and then south with amazing vistas of Manhattan's most famous structures, including the Empire State Building, Chrysler Building, and Freedom Tower. Residents of Trump Tower have access to the building's restaurant, bar, and stores, as well as a big fitness facility and in-house valet services. The superstar's cul-de-sac Marabella. CR7 has purchased a four-bedroom holiday home in Marbella, just a few doors down from world-famous UFC fighter Conor McGregor. This is Ronaldo's second residence in the lovely seaside city. The first was a $5.8 million home adorned with gigantic images of the Portuguese footballer. The home is a monolithic construction with clean modern lines and a stark white facade that contrasts beautifully with the surrounding pure blue ocean. The open-plan living rooms are bathed in natural light thanks to high ceilings and huge panoramic windows, and an exquisite floating staircase connects the two levels. The huge master suite has a large walk-in closet to store all of your soccer cleats, an ensuite bathroom, and, of course, breathtaking views of the sea. A high-tech automation system controls lighting, air conditioning, and entertainment systems throughout the villa, which was precisely planned. There's also a wine cellar, a private gym, and a theater for Ronaldo and his family to enjoy. There's a large garden perfect for kicking a ball around, as well as a wide infinity pool, underground fire pit, and outdoor couch. Hey, you look awestruck, but this is only the beginning. Gran Madre de Dio Villa Turin Compound Cristiano Ronaldo picked the private villa in the hills above Turin's Gran Madre de Dio because it reminded him of his old home in Madrid. The mansion's sophisticated and avant-garde architecture apparently captivated Ronaldo. Because it is connected to the main road by a private road that is controlled by security, the Ronaldo Turin Villa offers a high level of privacy. The private road leads to the estate's entrance, which leads to the massive home. The mansion is surrounded on one side by hills, on the other by a river, and on another side by the city of Turin. It's also close to the Great Mother's Church, a renowned tourist attraction. The grand entryway leads to the inside of the opulent estate, which is actually two villas joined together. Because of the private road and the rich flora that surrounds each structure, the double villa is mostly concealed from the outer world. While the exact number of rooms at the Ronaldo Turin Villa is unknown, some of the mansion's recognized features include a swimming pool, a vast lawn, and a massive gym. Funchal Mansion Madeira Complex In 2015, Ronaldo paid a huge amount of money to architect Nini Andrade Silva for the structure, which is near the Posh Savoy Hotel 
and near the port of Foncal's entrance. It was once the warehouse where the local Madeira newspaper, Diario de Noticias do Madeira, was housed. Over the years, the building has hosted a well-known nightclub known as Bar Club Noir. When the renovation of the building was eventually finished in 2019, Cristiano moved there with his mother and brother Hugo, who now runs the adjoining CR7 Museum. Although the number of bedrooms and bathrooms in the house is unknown, there are four stories above ground. One of the swimming pools may be found on the top, where Ronaldo was photographed enjoying one of its many terraces while in quarantine. It'll also be a fantastic site to keep up with his commercial interests, given its proximity to his 48-room luxury hotel, the Pestana CR7. La Finca Neighborhood, Madrid Stronghold The 4.8 million pound estate was Ronaldo's home for several of his nine seasons with Real Madrid and is located only down the road from former colleague Gareth Bale. Ronaldo was tempted by the house because it reminded him of his previous home in the prestigious La Finca district just outside of Madrid. The entrance door of the 8,600 square foot mansion is etched with CR and there is an additional 32,000 square feet of open space, which includes a football pitch and a pool. After leaving Los Blancos three and a half years ago, Ronaldo is said to have put his previous house on the market, although it is unknown whether it has been sold. Riverside Apartment When it comes to his luxury properties, the Riverside Estate flat, which was valued at $2.3 million, is next in the line. This apartment was acquired exclusively for the purpose of a vacation. The football maestro yearned for a private space where he could relax and unwind from his hectic schedule. The view from this flat is claimed to be of a beautiful national park. However, it has now been revealed that the star sold this condominium to his former Real Madrid colleague Pepe for nearly the same price that he paid for it in 2019. CR7, on the other hand, remains the registered owner of this property. This opulent estate is located in Garris, a resort town in northern Portugal. At the Riverside property, Ronaldo recently had to remove illegal expansions, including a housekeeper's cottage and an annex close to a tennis court. He gave the rubble from the destroyed structures to those in need. Lisbon Apartments Ronaldo has opted to live in his $6 million apartments on the Avenida de Liberdade in the heart of the Portuguese city. He spent £6.5 million buying a stunning property on Avenida de Liberdade in late 2019, making it the most expensive apartment in this Portuguese city. While his living quarters were hardly opulent when he was a young player, Ronaldo may have nice recollections of his time at sporting in downtown Lisbon. He allegedly beat off two tycoons for the 3,100-square-foot apartment, which has a gym and a pool, as well as spectacular views from the rooftop. Ronaldo's antics on top of the penthouse, however, got him into trouble, and he was obliged to remove a gazebo this summer to avoid a legal dispute with the building's architect. The United Hero is also rumored to possess an unspecified property in Lisbon's Rua Castillo neighborhood. Retirement Home no, there's no need to worry. He has not announced his retirement yet. However, he took care of everything for his dream retirement home. According to recent rumors, Cristiano Ronaldo has purchased a 7 million pound block of property in Portugal. Quinta da Marinha on the Portuguese Riviera is the precise site. CR7 has always been enthusiastic about his homeland and has frequently shown his admiration for it from the beginning of his career. He's even shown an interest in retiring to Portugal following his career. As a result, an apartment on the Portuguese Riviera would be ideal for him, especially since his Lisbon flat is only 30 minutes away. After a successful career, residing with family in a magnificent home seems like a perfect CR7 retirement plan. Ronaldo also paid £7 million for a vast portion of land in Quinta de Marinha, and construction on the home has already begun. So, that's all Ronaldo has in his estate arsenal. Did you like it? I am sure you liked it. I know you are stunned now, but when this hangover gets over, don't forget to let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed our effort, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. Also, hurry up and join us by subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon to watch more amazing videos like this. We'll meet again soon. Until then, peace.